Well, we went to our executive committee at the IHSA and we asked for permission to start a unified flag football program. And uh, we surveyed our membership during the spring area principal meetings and found overwhelming support from our members to start a unified flag football tournament series. We had 24 schools that reported to the sectional this year for our first one, and that's a great turnout. Uh, there's states that have been doing this multiple years, and they still are at eight to ten schools. And so I feel really, really good about where we're at right now. And the way we've built our tournament and the way we've structured it moving forward, we can add teams exponentially to that and, and really not change the format too dramatically. So we think it'll explode next year, and we'll have uh, a, a much greater number of schools that will play in the, in the tournament series. We had spent a lot of time planning this. It took a lot of time to work out the rules, so we had a, a, a year in preparation for getting ready in that culminating event, that state championship, which was an absolutely amazing and incredible day. Uh, first of all, to be able to play in the Colts Complex was special to everybody. And as you saw the teams get off the buses and come into the, the, uh, the field house and see this huge, vast area, uh, so green, so perfect, uh, and get so excited. And then after they came in and started warming up, we started seeing the parents come in. And I will tell you that there's nothing more gratifying to me than watching the parents. Because the parents have, have lived the life of their kids with special needs, who are often excluded from everything. They don't get to uh, participate in any extracurriculars, much less sports. And they come home every day and they get to spend their entire afternoon and evening with their parents. Uh, that's not much of a life for a high school kid. So now they're out there and they're competing. And so many times I have seen the team come out on the field wearing the colors, wearing the team uniform, and parents just start to tear up because they're so excited that their kid's going to be representing their school. The idea of a revolution is that it's a whole different paradigm. You shift somebody's thought. And here you're talking about an inclusion revolution where you're trying to find uh, any facet of your life, whether it's school, if you're still a student, or even a, a place of employment, if you've started your career already, how can you, in those environments, include people with disabilities? What's beautiful about this is that all these kids are together, and these kids who would not otherwise hang out at the school lunch table with uh, the general education population, all of a sudden they feel empowered and comfortable to go over to the gen ed side and hang out with those people because they are friends, because they are colleagues, because they play football or run track together. And that's what's so nice. That's what the whole inclusion revolution is all about. First means that you have to heighten your expectations of somebody with an intellectual disability. Uh, if we heighten expectations, our athletes will achieve that. It's just like any time when, you're, when you have a coach that pushes you, the athletes will respond and will achieve more than they ever thought they could. Same thing with our athletes at Special Olympics. If you heighten the expectations, they're going to rise to the challenge because they want to be better. And they will only get better if people around them see the value, see the potential that they have. If we, have, if we see them with pity, then that's very low expectations and they won't rise above that. And so the inclusion revolution is really for the rest of us to change how we see somebody with an intellectual disability. Yeah, we're really excited about the inclusion revolution and, and happy to be uh, uh, a participant because to see the kids of all abilities um, really blossom uh, when they become involved in sports, the confidence that they uh, gain from that participation, the friendships they gain uh, is really remarkable and something we're really proud to be a part of. Making history is, it, it's amazing. And the beginning of the season, we, our first team meeting, I told the kids, I said, look, this is our first year. If we, I said, my goal is I, I, wanna, I wanna win state. And I said, if we win state forever, when you go to the website and you look up flag football, we will always be number one. Um, no one can ever take that away from you. Um, and I went through the entire season, um, you know, talking to the kids about that and saying, we're going to be number one forever. Let's do this. Well, to be the first state champion, it's, it's pretty cool because there's only one of them. And there's, there's nobody else that can say that they're the first state champion. It feels amazing to be the first ever to win for 
college flag football. Unified sports in general has changed me a lot. Being a part of the track team and the flag football team, I was a one-sport athlete, played basketball, and I, my parents even said my demeanor on life in general has changed. I now help with the Special Olympics and helping coach one of the basketball teams for the Special Olympics in Lawrence County. And it, it's changed me as a person. I wasn't always the most outgoing guy if it wasn't basketball. And now I'm not even playing basketball. And I love every, I love every second that I am at the school. I'm, my friend group has spanned out. And it's changed a lot of me. It's changed my personality a lot in the way I look at things, and it's helped me through a lot, and I hope it helps a lot of other people through. You know, I told them years from now, you can bring your grandkids back into school and show them that trophy that you won when you were in high school. And it's just, it's amazing. It's beyond what I ever imagined it could be. The thing to me, too, was the athleticism of the kids on the field was impressive. And there's a young man from Ben Davis I talked to, and this was kind of his chance to, you know, play. He'd played some football growing up, but hadn't really been a part of a team like this. And for him, this was like, you know, being in the Super Bowl, you know, and it really was. It was, it was cool. Uh, and it was just more than him, too. It was the kids from Bedford who ended up winning the event. Um, you know, the, the, the kids from Tippecanoe Valley who, who lost even, you know, they, I, it felt like it was. It was almost like a, a state championship game if you're there Thanksgiving weekend, uh, the way they reacted after the game. And, and the fans, I think, too, and the parents and coaches who were there, you know, once you watch that, you're like, man, I, I, there's gonna, this thing's going to blow up. There's going to be 100 uh, schools who want to do this by next year. I wouldn't be surprised if there are 100 next year doing it uh, just because of the, the camaraderie you kind of felt when you were there watching it. Well, regardless of your favorite sport, whether it's football at Lucas or basketball at Banker's Life, we all have that vision that we have of at the end of the game, one team celebrating, they're really excited, they're hoist, hoisting the trophy up in the air, they're getting their medals, there's just exuberance out there, and this was no different. These kids may, uh, may be a little different, uh, but that's the whole idea. We're showing that they're not different. They worked really hard to accomplish that goal for each other, for their coaches. They're all excited for each other. It's, it's just like any other state championship you go to. It's just uh, a wonderful sight to see. We'll encourage our member schools to get involved. We treat unified sports just like the other 20 sports. You go to our website, uh, our member's website at MyHSA, you register with a coach, and you then are registered for the sport. We provide materials to those schools uh, once we've seen that they've registered a coach. And uh, we'll be promoting that during the spring meetings and then also in the fall. And hopefully we'll have an opportunity to grow the tournament even further.